Hey guys, and welcome to Vupedia, our small yarn manufactory. My name is Julia, and today we have a new Wukas, the new English one. So yeah, last time uh, we had a German one. So don't be bothered about the numbers. So there's maybe something missing. I switched the last time always from German to English that I can make an English and a German wool cast and today an English one. So yeah, let's get started. We have something new. I wanted to show you my progress of the Mr. Knit Along. This is the thing which makes me happy at the moment the most because so many people are liking it, especially the German ones. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you the progress. So I'm knitting with our gradient yarn and this is colorway cinnamon sunrise you can actually see it right here a little bit in the back yeah i think the most already know that this will be a shawl so it start with a very bright red i think the camera has always problems to show the real color but it is a really 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 bright red and you have the different patterns, different knitting patterns all the time. And then and then it goes to a darker red. Just may, maybe something like a like a muted red, something like this. Not really muted, but just a darker, not a bright one, but a darker. It's also not like a Burgundy or Bordeaux. It's it's yeah. It's not as right at the first one yeah and we have still one pattern left so this will be soon over and i'm a little bit sad because it's really so much fun and yeah so today and the days before we had uh, a lot of rain a lot of storm very windy do you say windy i i, I think windy <laughs> i still have to learn if it's windy or windy and i knit a lot on my baby blanket it's also yarn gray and made by us. It's called Aquarius, Wopedia Colors Aquarius. And actually I can't show you the whole thing because it's too big. So my my rope I'm knitting on the Chiagu and I'm using the twist thread cord and I can't show you the whole thing because really the, 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 the cord is it's easy, <laughs> it's just too small. I already joined two cords together, but it's still not enough. But I'm really, really done. And it's just this one left. So I just have to cast off. That's it, maybe one or two rows more. And it's just a square. It's it's knit in the stockinette stitch. And it starts with the color P. What do you say? P or P? 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 No, I think P. And it ends with a light blue. So it's very smooth color gradient. And this will be a play baby blanket. And I think it's um, approximately one meter, one meter width and height. <laughs> it's a square. And at the end, I have here um, a seed stitch as a border. And then I will just cast off. Nothing special. So no eye cord cast or whatever, just just casting of stitches as usual. Maybe I will use an elastic cast or we'll see with a with the crochet hook. Yeah, and then I will have a new baby blanket for number two. Yeah, soon, 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 soon. I think I will make a pattern for this blanket, a PDF pattern. So I will post it on our shop Wikipedia.net and also on Ravelry. I will see maybe also Amazon and maybe Etsy. So we have, uh, we started some time ago in an <laughs> Etsy shop. So if you would like visit us, it would be nice. It's just Etsy.Wikipedia.net. Just, I will put all the links in the video description as always. So, you know, just, find find it there and i wanted to show you what uh, just let me have a look i <laughs> i put some notes do not forget ah yeah i wanted to show you i'm i do not have it here of course 
but we also do gradient yarns with beads, so beaded gradient yarns, but of course also uni, uni colors, so just single colors without, um, without any gradient. And Nina bought a beaded yarn, they are called Wolpedia Twinkles, and she bought it for her wedding and uh, already uh, i don't know how to, <laughs> to, to explain but when you when you produce or when you create or manufacture something if you know that's for a wedding you are like super super excited so you're so full of wow that we are allowed to do this that she's going to wear during during her her, her wedding and she sent us um, a picture it was so nice and so gorgeous to see this so thank you thank you thank you nina uh, you can also see it in the shop and this was uh, a model mix yarn with black beads actually they are called cobalt so they are black but with a uh, blue shine so if uh, the sun the sun is shining on the pearls you see a blue shine and yeah she was wearing this to at, at her wedding and how gorgeous and how nice is this guy so yeah and last uh, last week we made also a new gradient yarn also for a wedding it was white and pearl <laughs> the color is also called pearl not bead the customer chose the crystal beads, the transparent beads, which which shine in <laughs> in the sunlight with a little bit silver inside. So yeah, we are looking forward um, to these pictures, but of course it will take time. Yeah, you know, wedding takes planning, uh, doing and photographing, and then maybe afterwards, after the honeymoon, we will get the pictures. So yeah, so we're looking forward for this. But this is, these are are really highlights um, of manufacturing yarn and seeing what was done with it and how it was used and whoops just <laughs> needles yeah so yeah and what i also wanted to say um of course we're always happy if you send us pictures if you send us project pictures not only from weddings but from any occasions or if you're just doing them because you have fun we uh, are giving away always five euro, a five euro shop voucher if you send us a project picture and if you allow us to use it on all our platforms like shop social media etc blog and youtube <laughs> and yeah so yeah maybe if you have a nice picture and you want to have a voucher and you want to that other people see your gorgeous work so yeah send us the picture and let us know that we can use it and any platform we can do this also anonymously so that we don't name you but we can do this also that we say hey hey this is made by nina yeah <laughs> last year we had an advent calendar a youtube advent calendar and we had um, different promotions and the most what you like or the, the thing that you like most was or were the sunday colors and the sunday twinkles and we decided to leave them at Wolpedia so you can now find every sunday a special promotion last sunday we had a giveaway on instagram it's still there you can still participate and we're searching for a beautiful name for this uh, gorgeous yarn i will insert it somewhere somewhere here so if you want to participate we're giving away a 10 euro shop voucher or if you would like you can have this yarn of course you can have have this yarn cake which is handmade by us um yeah just go to our instagram account and would be great to have a wonderful name and if we like it you can decide whatever you would like more the voucher the voucher or um the yarn cake and but this is not, actually not the thing that I wanted to say. I wanted to say that we have every Sunday from a promotion and mostly we have Sunday colors or Sunday twinkles. That means that our channel members um, decide or YouTube channel members decide which color gradient or which yarn cake uh, should be a Sunday colors. And then you will get 30 to 50 percent of the price. So, for example, if it's online for 17 euros, you, you will get it for 8.5, something like that. So stay tuned for that. 
Sometimes we post it on YouTube, uh, sometimes on YouTube, uh, on the YouTube community. But yeah, uh, these are these gorgeous greens. This green, for example, is fresh. During the last wool cast in German, I unbox our new yarns. We decided to have more merino yarns in our shop, so not, not just to manufacture, but also to sell or to resell as a reseller <laughs> more. And um, we decided to have shuffle in our shop. So uh, I showed last time some gorgeous magic balls. So it's a direct translation from Zauberball, from the German name. And it's a, a super nice gradient yarn made in Germany. So they have specific machines or how do you call it for this, which, uh, which uh, dye and which do this yarn ball. And I like a lot because it looks like this grandma balls, yarn balls, which I know from my childhood and I love it so much. And I'm looking forward for new tutorials. So our channel members will also decide which tutorials will come next. And I will have to do some older German patterns, which I didn't show you in English. And I'm looking forward to use this yarn. It will be gorgeous. So there will be some shawls, there will be sweaters, etc. So yeah. So, or, or cardigan, cardigan, ca cardigan, <laughs> do you say car cardigan or cardigan, 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 I think maybe it depends on, on where do you live, so yeah, um, yeah, we will have some patterns for this, so uh, we have also uh, German sock yarn <laughs> and also 100% uh, merino wool, or you call it sometimes virgin wool, also, um, very quality German wool from Schoppel and they are, are all completely mulesing free. So they uh, take the raw wool from Patagonia or from Germany sometimes. So I hope the Irish uh, people will will not hate me for using uh, Patagonian and German wool, not only Irish, but um, I really like or what the company does with yarn, how they does it, what they give you as an opportunity and yeah. And at this point I also want to tell you if you need something in our yarn and uh, yarn <laughs> no yarn in our shop, yeah, of course in our yarn shop, if you're missing something, so if you need something special that just let us know. Uh, I'm sure we can order this this for you. Maybe not especially from the brand which you would like to have uh, but maybe a different type um, of yarn so I will send you pictures and show you what it is and how you and whatever so yeah just send just send an email and um, I'm sure this this will work fine and I also started watching more English podcasters YouTube podcasters knitting podcasters of course uh, in English since we moved to Ireland and I found a new one. So of course, you know, Yarn Hoarder, you know, Wool and Wine. I think I don't have to tell you more about them. So you know them, but I found Knitting I Love or Knitting I Love. And this is Barbara. This is a super nice, fresh and smiling girl all the time. And I love your podcast because you don't fall asleep. You don't get bored. They are sometimes maybe too short. I, maybe I would like to have, okay, just don't make 10 minutes, maybe make half an hour <laughs> or so, or, or, or maybe, I don't know, for 45 minutes. But yeah, I like her a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, maybe something for you. So if you're searching for new, for new knitting podcasts, podcasters, just have a look. So this is something new for me, something which I discovered in the, in the, in the past. And I'm looking forward to find new ones. So yeah, if there's time, of course, but during making such gorgeous yarn gradients to watch new podcasts, so that's lots of fun. That's a lot of fun, <laughs> lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. Um, I will be doing the, the pattern for the Aquarius baby blanket. Yeah, I, I'm sure this pattern will be free. So you don't have to, to, to purchase for this, but it's really it's six square. So yeah, this will be nice. And I'm also trying out the new lamp, <laughs> which we have from BenQ. Actually, I think it's quite nice also for vlogging. I didn't think that it would work, but I think it works. So usually I'm, um, I'm using this ring 
and the problem is that I have always these um, how do you how do you say mirror mirroring from the ring in my eyes and and on the on the glasses and I think it's maybe sometimes disturbing disturbing <laughs> or annoying and maybe this new one will be the solution so I also tried to film uh, the last tutorial with this lamp and I think it worked fine it was a nice choice and maybe I will keep it I wasn't sure so yeah you know you can order things online you <laughs> and then if you don't like it you can you can send it back so uh, I'm still thinking about keeping it and I think it will or it should work so yeah maybe I think I will do a German re review for this so yeah if you're interested um, of course you won't understand or I, maybe I will talk two times, maybe I will talk one in one time in German and one time in English, I don't know. Stay tuned for the tutorial and afterwards I would like to start a new... But I don't know, I don't know when, but I would like to start a new knit along crochet along whatever because this was really so much fun and once when it's done um, we'll see, we'll see what will happen. Yeah, thanks for watching. It was again a lot of fun. I like doing this wool cast if there's time. Sometimes I'm also online on the German channel, so sometimes there are live streams, so maybe you will follow there if you would like <laughs> to talk to me live. But yeah, until then, thanks a lot for watching. I'm looking forward for the next wool cast. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys, for your nice and welcoming English community. So I like a lot to talk to you. And I would say until next time.